Yeah, so I'm not really dressed for this and uh, this is kind of impromptu. I didn't really plan this. So if any hunter comes walking by, they would see me in a city coat and a beret talking about fragrances in the middle of absolute nowhere. Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm your favorite frag hag, Linda. In this day and age, we should try to stay away from humans and social interactions as much as possible. So what did this little hag do? I actually took the car and I drove out for eight kilometers straight out into the wilderness. I started walking into the forest and found this frozen moor. I've uh, never been here before. So this is a first. So just walking around like this is totally like killer frags of me, isn't it? On the way here, I saw two gigantic moose standing by the side of the road. And it kind of freaked me out because I'm thinking, it's more likely I'll encounter a really hungry bear here than I'll get the coronavirus. And I'm not talking about your average San Francisco kind of bear. I'm talking about the ones that rip your guts out. I got this amazing discovery set from SP Parfums. And the perfumer behind SP Parfums is Sven Pritzkeleit. I hope I didn't butcher his name now, but um, he's an indie perfumer with his um, background in the, the pharmacy business from what I understand. So he's now creating these incredible fragrances and I've had the chance to try a lot of them out. And I also got a full bottle of this, powder and dust. And this is unique and different, all right. So, it's inspired by Jana's Stardust, and if you have no idea who Jana is, she has the channel Tomilies. Go check her out immediately, I tell you. I will link down below here to her channel. And she is so knowledgeable and so passionate about fragrances, and I would say she's like the indie queen of Fragcom. So please check her out. Sven created this fragrance with Jana in mind and following her channel and her reviews for a while, I know that she loves powdery fragrances. So this is uh, supposed to resemble the vintage hyper powder. Got no idea what vintage hyper powder is, but it's different. This is not what I would call your average powdery perfume. And uh, first spritz, it is incredibly strong. And uh, to the point where I went a little bit, whoa! Yeah, I did. I went the whoa. <laughs> Once it settles a little bit, it becomes way more pleasant. And um, first spritz, uh, it's difficult to give it a proper judgment because I was really uh, a bit scared of it first. Not as scared as I am of bears. Do you see anything moving there? But once that initial burst settles down a little bit, then it becomes quite fruity powdery. Not what I expected, but I didn't really know what to expect, to be honest. So it's got fruity notes. It's got mimosa and musks in here and champagne and uh, powder notes. And I totally get the fruity notes, but I would say it was something so similar and I couldn't put my finger on what it was until I realized it's apricots. It's apricot compote or compote, uh, like those boiled ap apricots that you eat kind of like a dessert or a soup with some milk or some cream. That's what the smell resembles. And it's got something earthy. It's like 
So it's called powder and dust, yeah? So it's like an earth seller, not a skanky like serial killer earth seller. It's more like that kind of earth seller where you store your pickled fruits. So it's got kind of a warmth to it. This fragrance is not very sweet. It has a little bit of sweetness in there from the fruit and the mimosa, but it's not about the sweetness. It's about about that. It's kind of a moist powder. I can see the kind of champagne note there, but it's very subtle. It's all about that fruit compote and muskiness. Is this a fragrance for me? No, it's not. And that's for one reason only. Mimosa. The mimosa is not for this nosa. But if you love mimosa, then this could be a magical potion for you. And I'm going to make another review, I think, from all the discovery sets that I got because there's so many fragrances there that are more up my alley and I did find a few absolute gems okay so my hand is freezing I didn't bring gloves because you know <laughs> this is kind of impromptu let's see if I can find my way back from here uh, if you see a bear attacking me or like a lynx or something just well I guess then it will already be too late all right okay so now I just need to oh, find my way back to the car I'm going in circles oh. oh hello precious car we're all good ah oh, yeah finally civilization Hello people, where are you? That's the road to nowhere. <laughs>